Hi guys, Gabby is here in America. This is Zeke Street, Zephyr, and Zip and Z down the line there. Uh, we want to talk about rigs a little bit today, about um, how they're attached and why. And so we have two different ones for you to look at. This is the front for mainly round tracks, and it's attached to the swells. Some people will just hook it right over their horn, but I use barrel saddles and I don't trust the horns. And sometimes it could slip off. So I like to, to run this rope right through the swell, the saddle. And then I have this knot here and it's here for a reason. And it keeps this carabiner from slipping back. If the knot wasn't there, the carabiner could slip back up here into my, you know, up in here into my hip a little higher. But it's, it's down here, it's more uh, solid that way. It keeps it right here. And when I have a carabiner on this rope, then the skier can come right up and we attach his carabiner right to this one and it's a real slick, fast motion when you're in the heat of the gate. And then this knot is here for a reason because it keeps this carabiner from riding up on the rope and, and into my leg. All right, so this is the rig for a, a straight track. Um, we take a, take a nice thick rope, um, you know, ready, for, tested for about 300 pounds at least because a lot of times you'll get a big hard jerk from a skier and, and you'll need to have something that's, that's super sturdy. Um, we'll first take a rope and knot it around the horn, then we'll run it under this buckle. We'll run it under the D-ring right here through the saddle, underneath the back cinch right here. So we want this knot to be directly in the middle of the camel so that this weight is, is pulling straight off the saddle. And then the reason we put the rope underneath so many parts of the saddle is so that it evenly distributes that pole or that weight all throughout the saddle and it, it's more distributed around the horse's back. Uh, so there's both kinds, straight track rig and then the, the round track rig. Thanks guys, thanks for watching.